The Bold City Showdown right here on Channel 4 is just two days away. It is the Mandarin Mustangs versus the Atlantic Coast Stingrays. Just two hours away two now, hours away, actually. Yes. And our Sky 4 helicopter is live over the field right now at Atlantic Coast High, where kickoff is at 7.15 tonight. News for Jack's reporter Allison Henning is joining us live from the school. And Allison, you got a chance to find out about some of the other programs the school offers besides football. <laughs> Yes, I did. You know, we got to check out and see what students can do in addition to their typical class schedule. And we learned that Atlantic Coast is actually a trendsetter in Duval County when it comes to working with students with special needs. Atlantic Coast High School offers something for everyone. From athletics and academics to community service, the options are endless. Junior Megan Watucky is part of a club called Rays of Hope, where students come together and mentor children with special needs. The HOPE stands for Help Open People's Eyes. Watucky says between this club and working with the Special Olympics program at her school, she's learned lessons that will last a lifetime. The athletes persevere through everything. It's not a matter of if they can't do something, they still try. And I've never been that way until up until last year. And that's a huge part of my life now, and it's taught me to just keep going and not give up. Students like Gabe enjoy going outside during school hours. Today I play football. ESE teacher Pam Entman explains why these programs are a win-win for everyone involved. Special needs kids step it up because they want to impress the gen ed kids, so behavior improves. Um, they put out more effort, and then on the reverse side, the gen ed kids, especially those that are thinking about education or physical therapy or anything like that, that are now dealing with the special needs population, kind of opens up their eyes. Entman says Atlantic Coast's special needs programs are some of the best in the state. And what makes these programs really unique is that the students are able to participate then in them during school hours. Some of the students that we spoke with who have been a part of these programs for years tell us they are really just an all around rewarding experience. Now ahead at 630, we will be live here from the football field as fans start packing these bleachers ahead of tonight's big game, bringing out their school spirit. And we, of course, are talking fans from both sides. So we'll see you then reporting live tonight. Allison Henning, Channel 4, The Local Station.